want to see how I created this hip hop beat from scratch in Ableton Live 10, stick around for the next 10, 15 minutes and you can see the entire process from scratch. Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make hip hop beats in Ableton Live 10. I know that a lot of people want to know how to do this because I use this little plugin called TubeBuddy and basically I just type in um, Ableton Live how to into this keyword explorer and um, it tells me what everyone wants to know. So if there's any other YouTubers um, that want to make videos on topics, this is a really handy tool. I'll leave a link in the description. So basically how I start is I grab any kind of an instrument and I just create a chord structure. So let's use one of Ableton Live's instruments. What do we got here? I'm going to grab a real simple sound like this muted pure, and then I'm going to basically do a bit of sound design um, to make sure that this is a little bit different. So I'm going to usually create a blank MIDI clip. Insert MIDI clips with a right click. Uh, I'm going to make this about 140 beats per minute to start up, out with. And if I want to change that later, I can Let's switch on my metronome. Let's just get a sound going. Let's make this in. D minor. Hold down the B key to draw in some notes. That'll do for the moment. So I'm going to just make this a short loop. Let's do a little bit of sound design here. So just going to go down to the instrument itself and just try and get away from that preset sound. Just going to maybe add in a second oscillator here. I'm not an expert on the analog instrument. I haven't delved too far into it, but you, you can just muck around. You can always reload the preset if you don't like what you've done. Okay, so we're just trying to get a tone, like an original tone. I'm going to grab an EQ8, just pull out the low end there. So now we just want like an alternative line. I'm going to loop this while um, auditioning some sounds. I'm going to copy that and just keep the top line. Now let's pop an arpeggiator on that under MIDI effects. Let's, let's grab that whole chord structure there. I'm going to pop a pitch effect on there and pitch that up an octave. So this is like a, like if you're not good at creating melodies, this is a way you can use this arpeggiator to do that. So you're just starting to create a tone. This is how I start my tracks. This is a, a starting point. And then if obviously you want to start constructing a drum kit. So um you can use an internal drum kit i often go to splice.com let me grab that i search splice.com mainly for my one hits just like trap hi-hats and uh kick drums 808s and things like that 
So I'm not going to go and, and go through and search for them all now. I've, I've got a bunch that I've already downloaded. So let's just try and find a, um, a bass sound here. I might do for the moment. So it's really simple to load these sounds from Splice. I normally sort of minimize my window a bit. Grab that Splice app that you download. It, it's like the app that goes along with the website. And then I create MIDI tracks. Double click on the MIDI track and then you can literally drag from there into this bottom area and it will load that up. Um, you can do that with your MIDI keyboard or you can um, just pop in a note in there. You can just draw a bass line in like this. So apparently this is a C note. So I normally just double check with the audio effects and I grab the tuner. So that's that samples actually a little bit sharp. I think you have to convert this into a from simpler to sampler before it will let you detune the There yeah, we can see that's in tune now. You don't have to get too complicated at this point, like when you're just constructing a, a, a track. You're just mainly trying to come up with some ideas. You'll just ref you'll refine this all um, later. And then I'm just going to keep adding tracks. We'll do a kick. Basically, this is like just a really quick way of constructing a track. And I can go into my splice. If you don't have splice or you can't afford it, you can actually be like grabbing these sounds from from here. I would normally construct like a single track for my hi hats, and then another track for the kick, and another for the snare. But just for this tutorial, I'll use just one of these drum kits, and I'll just do it all on one track. That's not great, but we'll just try this out. Oh, that hi-hat's terrible. What you can do is actually go into where that hi-hat is. So you can actually delete that device and you can just like drop a sample in there from my splice or like if you downloaded from anywhere. So you just drop that in there. And then that should become the new sample there. Okay, so that is a good start to a beat and basically I'd spend the next hour just mucking around, grabbing some different sounds. I would layer up some of these like chords. So I'd duplicate this track and then I'd pick a different instrument. So maybe something from the pads here. Something with a different tone. Let me just solo these two pad tracks.
just start layering that up so then and then once i've got everything i'll just build an arrangement so an introduction a verse of chorus so i don't like the sound of that snare either just whatever just drop it in there One cool thing I do with my 808s is I chuck a uh, sidechain compression on them. You can select from here just the kick. I have to turn the sidechain on. So you'll hear that that ducks, that like the bass reduces in gain every time the kick hits. I tend to be a little bit more subtle with my effects, like just a little bit. So that's, this is how I start constructing beats from scratch. You can see I've almost got a bit of a track happening here. I'll just go in and fill this out, clean it up. Um, within an hour, I should have a finished beat. I can mix it and I can master it. Um, so if you want to learn the entire process, I've got a new course available, um, The Beginner's Guide to Ableton Live, where I show you all the ins and outs of Ableton Live to get you rolling, to get you like totally familiar with the software, everything it can do and how you can create a track and then how you can mix it and master it within Ableton Live. So I will leave a link to that new course in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.